Hey everyone, welcome back. Here we are in the Thieves Guild training room. Whoa, and we're just kind of... Huh. Okay. That's interesting. Like a cool little bug. Should probably put a seizure warning. Alright, so we're gonna... Do a little bit of lock picking practice real fast. So this is the result of roughly um, a lot of lock picking <laughs> uh, practice. Hmm. Let's see what I can. Uh, clear out of my inventory here. I'm going to be relying off of the health to weight ratio. Okay. So that was the easy one. Now let's move to an apprentice. So this is like, I don't know, seven years worth of lock picking experience right here. So let's move on to expert, not quite masterful yet. So the way that I kind of do it, which I'm sure that's how everyone else does it, I just kind of probe the lock for the sweet spots. Okay, whatever. So, can you stop? Okay. Dude. Okay. I feel you on that one. Like being a thief? Can you look at me when I'm talking to you? How do you have it, Skyrim? That must have been difficult. Yeah, I'm trying to unpick these chests here, so stop yelling at me. Okay. This is guild territory, you dumb school. Hmm. Alright, we know where it is now. So we're going to move right there, and then I kind of hit that a little bit too hard. Try that again. Oh, mm, master chests break the lock picks a lot quicker than all the other ones. So you got to be like fast with the tapping. Ugh, I have an itch. Nothing like having a hand that itches while trying to do 
lock picking. Hmm. This is not going how I planned it to. Wow, the sweet spot is so small. It's like right there. Nope. Oh, I'm going a little high, that's why. I was trying to put on that little uh, glistening piece of shiny, like, you know, one of those little pixels there. I was just going a little bit too high. And that is annoying. I cannot believe that that keeps happening. I might need to download the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch or something like that. So that way, maybe that'll fix it. Hmm. Um. What my orcish bow of draining. There we go. So, hmm. Now we have to talk to Maven Blackbriar, which she is a really mean lady who is very entitled. <sighs> Um, I don't want to talk to Blackbriar. Hmm. There are a lot of things that I could probably be doing, but I choose not to. Hmm. Um, I'm going to go use the Jarl's Enchanting Table to deconstruct some of the items that I've recently acquired in hopes of maybe being able to create some items myself that I'll be able to use. Wow, there are a lot of those spots, actually. No doubt about it. Let's build this back. This is our Maybe my version of Skyrim just needs to be like restarted or something like that. So I can disenchant. I can sell everything that's enchanted except for that helmet and that sword and my bow. Shut up. It's a shame I can't disen... Whoa. Okay. What do you say? Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, I'm going to give you that, I'm going to give you that, I'm going to give you that, and that, and we're going to give you that, and that, and that, and we're going to give you those, maybe, maybe not, I'm going to give you those for sure. There. I gave you lots of cool stuff. Hey, Medici, what's going on? I'm gonna sell you some cool jewelry I've been finding. So, you're gonna take my garbage, and you're gonna like it. You, Gorelka. Um, well, I didn't mean to close out of that. 
Let's see. Potions. I should have some fun ones to sell, probably. Um, you can have this resist poison. Um, this resist frost. This resist fire. This resist cold. This regenerate health. You can have this. Hmm. I'm going to keep these pearls. Actually, that's a weak one. No thanks. Uh, magical poisons. No thank you. Frenzy. That might come. No, because it's only level 5. Um, that's kind of worthless in the long run. Alright, well. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. So I have 13k gold right now. I need like in the upwards of 20 grand before I can build a house. Like, you know, full out. It's really dark out here. Is the lighting engine like not working? I guess it is late, so never mind. Ugh. Oh, never mind. Wow, you are quite the individual. So we could go say hi to the Dark Brotherhood. We could go to Mount Kilreath. Um. Hmm. You know, I don't really like doing the main quests because it's it's sort of the thing, the same thing over and over again. So I'm really just trying to like branch out, but I don't, I I never explore this area over here due to the high presence of um. Forsworn. Uh oh, I just unplugged my mic. Well, I unplugged the headphones, so gotta plug those back in. Nothing like having loose cables everywhere, so every move you make is basically a threat to the uh, recording's existence. So. <laughs> oh, oh, that reminds me. Um, also, I, I don't know who, um, you know. I did this, but on my Tingles account, or slash profile, uh, someone left another tip. I don't know if that was um, uh, my my current supporter, Elspiet, which if it was you, thank you. But if it wasn't, um, the anonymous tipper, uh, I wanted to say thank you, because I have two people who have tipped. And uh, um, you guys are basically... Um, Paying for the cost, of, it did. You're paying for the costs of my morning coffees, and that that that's pretty cool, actually. So thank you. So I, I really can't like express how awesome that is that you guys are like willing to do that. <laughs> it's it's really it's really cool. Like I I can't even begin to express my gratitude. So thank you to everyone. So, anyways, um, we're going to keep moving here. Even those with no strong physical will, I swear you belong to the people of Kingsley. Mm. Mm, look at me, I'm part of the Imperial Legion, that makes me better than you. Let's go see if we can find some cool loot from the, uh... <sighs> Whoa, that actually made me, like, legit jump. Um... Wow, okay, like... That actually made me, like, the big spook right there. Um... Okay, that's not working nearly as well as I was hoping it would.
wow, that uh, that jump scare really got me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know if you guys are able to see that or not, but I, I definitely jerked when um that saber cat pounced. Wow. Nice. That's what I like to see. All right. So first things first, let's find out what the chest is. So we got a lot of... Uh, fun little giant stations kind of put about here and no sign of a chest though I have been detected there it is so this is the part where he runs at me and tries to kill me perhaps oh we're good and now we're gonna leave <sighs> oh boy, you can see on. Oh, oh gosh. So uh, that Subnautica episode was probably <laughs> one of the longest recording experiences and my computer is not very happy about the amount of um, disk space that took up in fact I should probably delete the, uh, the the main recording file because that main recording file for Subnautica is like 12 gigabytes you know in size so 12 gigabits huh Fascinating. Okay, this really has my attention now. Whoa, hey. <sighs> Did you really have to use that much magicka on him? Well, no wonder why there's so many rats. You're leaving food on the floor, you idiot. I've got a really bad feeling about this place all of a sudden. Oh, well, there he is, right there. Looks like he was a hermit, didn't keep the place very well put together, maybe made friends with the rats and tried keeping him around. Either he died due to disease, or... Yeah, he definitely had the rats as pets. Without a doubt. See, there's just a lot of evidence here that he had... Because it's not like he was accidentally leaving the food. Like there's bulls. I mean, we've killed like quite a few skeevers, and there's you know at least the amount of bulls out for them. They all had food in there. The place is not very well maintained. There's a trough, insisting that maybe he had the wolf as a pet too. Hmm. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Hmm. I want like a journal or something for him is that I can read because I'm really interested in this guy. Not because he's like, you know, interesting, but because he's weird. Anyways, from what we can tell, this guy was a hermit and made friends with the skeevers. Either died from sickness or was betrayed in the middle of the night, but they weren't feasting on him, so we don't know that for a fact. Hmm. 
I think there's old Rorik's den over there, so let's uh, go take a look over there and see what we can find. Little brat. Rorikstead. I'm from Rorikstead. Horse thief. Hmm. Oh, I see a a thing up there. It has my attention. Wow. Okay, so like my my body definitely wants me to go to bed, but um that's not going to happen quite yet. Still got a few more recordings I want to get done first. So, so I don't know if this is like an actual thing or not, but one time I encountered the Headless Horseman in Skyrim. I've never actually taken the time to Google and look into the whole Headless Horseman thing and see if like, you know, I actually saw him, but I'm almost 100% sure I once saw the Headless Horseman just wandering around near the uh, the, Se the Steedstone's location. And I've never, um, like, I actually looked into it, so I should probably do that one day and see if I was actually right. Wow. Oh, these yawns are getting annoying. Ah, I'm gonna charge it. Nope, nope, never mind. Forsworn. Freaky deer people. That's right, come this way. Idiots, they're all idiots. Come on. Uh oh. Ugh. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Forsworn bow. Hmm, that's worth selling. All right, let's take it slow. Movement up there. I missed. I 
I don't know why, but whenever I yawn, like, my eyes start to water. So I've got, like, like tears streaming down my face right now as I'm trying to, like, kill these guys. I'm gonna give you the staff. A staff infection. Oh. Oh, wow. Um, that, like, that wrecked him. Um... This is kind of fun. Who's next? You're gonna get sniped with a staff. This is way too fun. I didn't realize that staffs were this fun. It's like free magic. Like, I knew it was free magic, but, like, you know, it's like you're a tank. And you got, like, you know, weapons of magic destruction. Where are you? I'm trying to find you. I'm not trying to hide. I'm literally trying to find you, buddy. So if anyone's hiding, it's you. What? Where is he? I didn't say you could disappear on me. Get back here. Oh. <sighs> Oh boy, <laughs> things just got interesting. Let's see what we got. Oh, now that is a cool view. But I like this one even better. Oh, the joy of hunting for screenshots. All right. We're going to move to back to the bow here. Actually, hold on. There we go. No, 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 no. Oh, darn it. I didn't mean to do that. Thought that was a regular door. Oh, shoot. All right, where are all of this? Like, where where are they? They should be here, right? It's like none of them are here. Oh. 
Hmm. Okay, I guess it's empty. Bizarre is what it is. This might be something. Perhaps. Oh boy. What have I gotten myself into? Well, that place is a little interesting, but I'm going to have to say that now would be a good time to call this episode a night and leave it short. Thank you all for watching and sticking through to the end of this episode. I really appreciate that. And a special thanks to my current Tingles supporter, LSPN, as well as those of you who have left a tip on Hopefully you all enjoyed this video and have a fantastic, hold on, let me, let me get into a good spot for stopping, and have a fantastic, fantastic,